if they want to be competitive in year two. Second and 12, Corral keeps it over the top. He's got a wide open receiver, Casey Kelly. Only one catch on the year. He's the man taking Yaboa's spot at tight end today, and it's a massive play. 51 times in only eight games, they're not very proficient in this area of the field. Corral to the end zone. Touchdown! How about the catch from Braylon Sanders? But makes an incredibly acrobatic catch. Body control up and around. Henry Parrish is in the backfield with Corral. And Corral will throw, and it's a pick six, maybe. Watch out! Jay Ward! Touchdown! It off Dwight McLaughlin last week. This was telegraphed. It was. Trying to get it to Jonathan Mingo on the outside. And Ward jumped that route. Watch him read this route. An outbreaker by Mingo. He's underneath it right now. And Ward takes it to the house. This is an easy call for Lane Kiffin. A fourth and three in LSU territory. Corral throws the deep ball. And it's picked off again. Stepping in front is Todd Harris. And that's the second one Corral's thrown here in the first quarter. But flags come in as we might have a late hit. An accurate noise to deal with this year for all the opt-outs and injuries and losses of coaches. Max Johnson, his new quarterback, the true freshman, finds Coy Moore down in Ole Miss territory. But there is a broader context. He is thrilled to wake up every day and get to coach this Tiger team. Williams on a second and nine. And Josh puts his foot in the ground, cuts it back to the middle of the field. First and goal, Tigers. Johnson kept it in his right arm. Try it again. Johnson gets the push. Touchdown. Let's see if they do it tonight to keep themselves undefeated going into the playoff. Ely from midway back in his own end zone. Wise decision. Look at this. Ely gets through there. 105 yards. Ripped more than five yards. He's almost eight <laughs> yards deep. I shorted well, Jerry on Ely said, I said, forget it. I just got a head. I got a full head of steam by the time I'm on the field to play. Nice blocking downfield, too, by the Ole Miss Rebel kick return team. They have struggled in this game, especially in protection. 51 rushing yards for Corral. Faking the handoff to Ely. Trying to load up Gay. Got a hand on it and got the football. And LSU lines up in the shotgun. Ole Miss is so confused on defense. Lane Kiffin was trying to get a timeout. But instead, it's a first down, and it's a touchdown for Bute. Curry out of the backfield. That ends up pulling the linebacker out of the middle, and it's just a, a shallow cross, a mesh route, right over the football. Conservative play calling. And Parrish pays it off with a touchdown. Has hurt you. So you're able to get down to the doorstep and then Parrish, a guy that they're really high on. That's outside of the QB sneak range as LSU lines up in the shotgun. Johnson will throw to the end zone. BK wide open. You got a blocker there in the backfield. Nicole Taylor, a back alongside. To start the second half, play is the game clock is running down near 30 seconds now. Corral in trouble, and that's going to be picked off. Another bad decision by Corral, and Jabril Cox picks it off. He has 10 career interceptions. Out of the backfield. Corral stays upright, loads up, way down there, one-on-one, -on -one, and it's picked off. That's Ward again, and that's the fifth pickoff of the game for LSU. 
to Braylon Sanders before that Parrish carry. It's Parrish again to the end zone. Touchdown. And all of a sudden, they're able to get right back in the end zone. Nice cut block on the backside by Nick Broker. A two-hand touch from Jabril Cox, just trying to get a hand on Parrish. Pass right there, and Ole Miss takes advantage. Corral pumps, keeps it himself. Look at this. Inside the 10, first and goal, Rebels. Over the top, touchdown, Drummond. To ride that fake. Which is just the that's the margin by which they lead now. Second and eight for Johnson. All day. Just too much time. Butte past midfield. Out of bounds inside the 35. Here in Baton Rouge with Ole Miss on the march. Ontario Drummond with a 31-yard catch to get him to the 25. And on the first play to the end zone, Braylon Sanders, touchdown! 29 times on the season. Never seen anything like that before. Max Johnson across the middle. Butte's been wide open right there in the Ole Miss defense all night long. And he's very quickly into their territory. Over 350 yards passing in the game. Looking for more. And the lead. Instead, it's underthrown, and he throws his first career interception, A.J. Finley. You saw Kiffin, he's already raised his hands like it should be a touchdown. He wouldn't share something with the line judge. Snoop Connor, fake to him. Corral walks it in, actually. The only person that stopped him was an official. It is a touchdown for Ole Miss, and we hope that official's okay. Well, the headlinesman thought that he handed the ball off. Timeout. Matt Corral, of course, doesn't see him. He actually almost makes a pretty nice tackle right at the goal line. I hope he is okay. Bradford's behind him. Tries to dive in there. Hey, he kind of jumps. He keeps that ball in tight. I don't think there's any question that he gets in there eventually. I'm not sure he didn't get in there before that second effort. They had Andre Anthony floating around. Now it's Baskerville. Corral wants to take off, but he's got no place to go. He's in all kinds of trouble. Trying to get rid of it down the field and can't. What a big loss, Neil Farrell with the sack. Johnson, all day. Another delivery to Butte. They can't stop this guy. Look at this. Touchdown, Tigers. day as you pointed out Taylor watch Butte fight through these tackles I mean it just spins right out of it and now the only question is yes he scored did he score too fast we got Ole Miss a lot of ball left they have shown some serious explosiveness all season long Kayshawn Boutte, we pick up a big run. And we got another official down on the ground. Go down right before the end zone. LSU 29, 46 seconds left, and Ole Miss still has those two timeouts. Here's the pressure again. Corral wants to take off. He won't get much, and he lost the football. Jacoby Stevens has it. Taylor season is over. And now the postseason begins. The SEC championship game is tonight at 8. We're going to send you to Atlanta in just a moment for our preview here on SEC Network.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.